Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Apple Guy, and I'm your host Kyle, and today we are going to be unboxing a first generation iPod Touch, and the iPod Touch is in a special John Lennon box, and let's go right into the unboxing. So as you see on the front of the box, it has a nice design box for the first generation model only. And what do you get to see on the box? You get to see John Lennon on the front and the iPod Touch in the center. And on the bottom of that, you get the storage capacity, which is 8 gigabytes. On the right-hand side, you get the Apple logo and the iPod Touch in its silver font. On the top, you get 8 gigabytes as well. And on the left-hand side, you get the side view of the iPod Touch. And on the back of the device, we get all the information about the iPod Touch, and it includes the earphones, USB 2.0 cable, and it supports Wi-Fi 802.11b and G, and requires a Mac or PC to set up, of course, at this time in 2007. So let's flip the box right over, and let's open it. And as you can see, the iPod Touch is in the center. But one thing before we get right to this iPod Touch is the box itself. You'll notice right in here this black uh, foam. They only had this on the first generation iPhone, the 3G, and the first generation iPod Touch only as a protective layer during shipping. And here's the iPod Touch itself. And we will set this right over here. And what do you get in the box? Underneath, you get the paperwork that says designed by Apple in California. What do you get inside? You get something special for the first generation iPod Touch, which is a iPod branded microfiber cleaning cloth. And if you can see the bottom, it says iPod. So this only came with the first generation iPod Touch, first generation iPhone, and the first no, third generation iPhone and 3G, I mean. After that, you get the iPod Touch Quick Start Guide, and it debuts iPhone OS 3.0. It looks like 3.0. Yes, 3.0 on the box. Nope, my bad, guys. 1.0, because it doesn't have the App Store. My bad, guys. Right here. Doesn't show the App Store. So it features 1.0. So we'll put all this back. And usually after the information inside the box, you would get the 12-watt wall adapter, the 10-watt wall adapter, the... 30 pin and the headphones which look just like the original iPhone headphones so putting this all back we'll get right to the iPod touch and as you see the front of the iPod touch is a gorgeous 3.5 inch display that has a resolution of of the has the same resolution of the original iPhone at 163 pixels per inch. Uh, the specs behind it are a 412 ARM 11 chip, 128 megs of DDR1 RAM, and storage size it came in 8 and 16 in 2007, and a year later it came in 32 gigabytes. And it has a 580 milliamp hour battery with 5 hours of video playback and 22 hours of music playback. It had Wi-Fi B and G and Bluetooth 2.1 plus extended data range. So this device carries the same specifications of the original iPhone besides the 2G cellular connecti connectivity of course. And on the front of the, the device you get your home button and a beautiful bezel around the screen. On the bottom of the device you get your standard 30 pin dock and your headphone jack which funny enough about this headphone jack it's not recessed like the first generation iPhone and it's on the bottom instead of on the top like the iPhone debuted with back in the day. 
on the right hand side of that device you get the stainless steel border showing on the top you get part of the Wi-Fi antenna and the power button and on the left hand side nothing same as the right hand side so pretty much there's no volume uh, controls on the device and on the back you get the Wi-Fi module at the top iPod font at the bottom with the Apple logo and the 8 gigabytes of storage on this scratch scratchable stainless steel backing so funny enough how Apple with the first generation iPod touch was able to not only put a headphone jack at the bottom of the of the device but not make it recessed and drop the volume controls um, one, one of their specifications about this device it does not have a speaker it has like a click mechanism built into the device and what that does replicate the sound basically so here's the front of the device and what you get on here is a little different than the iPhone, but we do get the Safari application on the top, calendar, mail, contacts, YouTube app, stock, maps, weather, clock, calculator, notes, settings, and the app store. As well on the bottom, we get the music, video, photo, and the iTunes application, and that's all that came with the device. If we jump into settings, we will see it has the Wi-Fi toggle right, right there. Underneath it, it has the brightness controls, and it does feature auto brightness. And if we jump into general, that's where you would get the about information. And the iPod Touch is running version 3.1.3. And it's the model MA edition. And underneath that, you get wallpapers. So wallpapers are a little bit different. So you have different type of wallpapers. So let's say I want to do the ones with the iPods. Stuff like this. I'll set this as my lock screen wallpaper. And when we go to the lock screen, bam, you got that nice wallpaper, which looks awesome. Underneath that, you got the sound. And... I will let you hear the sound of the device. So it does that click sound. So let me unlock it, you'll hear the click. So there's the click. Underneath that you get a network toggle which lets you control Wi-Fi from here if you want and VPN. And you get other settings on the device. And that's pretty much it as in terms of Bluetooth. That control would be in the settings further down the line in the device. So basically this device was built for people that wanted a iPhone but cheaper, thinner, um, and without a contract, basically. So if you, you were the person that wanted a 199 device with 8 gigabytes of storage, there you go. And if you wanted 16, $100 more, then $100 more for 32. And the funny thing is, this device started off with 8 gigs, while the original iPhone started off with 4 gigabytes. So that lets you know, for paying a heck of a lot less money and without a two-year contract, in the device that's not as chunky, you get everything you need right there and plus the built-in app store. But the only caveat at the time was when you wanted to update software, Apple would charge you $9.95 to upgrade the software. Then years later when iPod Touch 3rd generation came out, I believe, they made it free for everybody to update on iPod Touch. And let me give you a demo of the clicking mechanism. So we will go into notes, we'll add a new note, and take a listen.
So you hear that click. So that is a clicking sound because it does not have a built-in speaker. The second generation did feature a built-in speaker. And if we go into music, you can play music through. And pretty much with the first generation iPod Touch, it led the way for other devices to be evolved in the more in the mobile media section of technology. And that's pretty much it I got to say about the device. So I want to thank you guys for watching a iPod Touch unboxing. Uh, please check out my website because I am updating it currently and I'm adding a tech deal section check that out because when I post the updates you will get deals on iPods um, other Apple products as well of course computer build parts too and that gives an affiliate marketing link so I get a little bit of kickback but that money will be used for the channel so if you want to help out and you see something you like in the tech deal section go ahead for it uh, follow me on Twitter for more updates like this. I will be doing a multiple series on the iPod Touch unboxing as well as iPhone unboxing series and other Apple products. Stay tuned for the Nokia 3310 video. And as always guys, I'll see you in the next one.